the near and you'll hear a London love song. Come and jig to the big town that's all dear. Feet dancing on all way. Feet on a long summer humdrum dark lane. They all go to the floor of London. London, a London love song. Come and jig to the big town, let's go. Gentle Good evening, Mr. Ducasse. Good evening, Mr. Ducasse. Good evening, Mr. Ducasse. Nice fella, nice fella. Nice fella. I got one for two shillings. You had mine, there's only one in mine. I had both. Going to fair. Come on along. Men swinging and crowds singing. They're all, all London. Love a song. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I will now recite to you a poem first made famous by Mr. Bransby Williams, since recited on various occasions by Sir John Martin Harvey, Mr. John Gielgud, and myself, The Green Eye of the Little Yellow Dart by Milton Hay. There's a one-eyed yellow idol to the north of Catlin Hill. There's a little marble cross to the over town. There's a broken-hearted woman tends the grave of Mad Carew. And that yellow god forever lies his love. He's always muscling in. What can you do? He has the sympathy of the public. He was known as Mad Carew by the sons of Kathmandu. He was hotter than they felt inclined to tell. But for all his foolish pranks, he was worshipped in the ranks. And the colonel's daughter smiled on him as well. He had loved her all along with the passion of the song. And that she returned his love was plain to all her. She was nearly 21 and arrangements were begun to celebrate her birthday with a ball. On the night before the dance, Mad Carew seemed in a trance. And they chirped him as they puffed at their cigars. But for once he failed to smile, and he sat alone a while, then went out into the night beneath the stars. He returned to before the dawn Where's Biddy? with his shirt and tunic. Biddy. <laughs> he better search the pockets, saying that from that guru. And she found the little green eye of the god. Where is that dog? Time passes. That's she is no now very very cute. She thought of him and hastened to his room. You keep out of that bar. Tend to your business. We follow this act. She could hear the dreamy air of a waltz tune softly stealing through the gloom. Thank you, sir. His door was open wide. With silver moonlight shining through, the place was wet and slippy where she trod. Hey, look at that. Hand it over. Let me go. Let me. An ugly knife lay buried in the heart of Mad Carew. <laughs> it was the vengeance of the little yellow god. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I must ask you to excuse this slight fracas. I do not stand here for my own enjoyment, 
so I will ask my friend Tentry here to collect any small tribute you may feel inclined to bestow. A golden sovereign being out of the question these cruel hard times, two pence will be always acceptable. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, with your kind permission and attention, a new conception of London's latest song success. Hello, Charlie, how goes it? It's gone. <laughs> Please, don't what you? with? Oh, I got a sixpence. I got a sixpence. It's a change. And I'll have, uh, I'll have uh, two doorsteps. Doorsteps? <laughs> Big slabs of bread and butter. Here. Who are they? That one with a funny hat. He's an American newspaper man. He's showing the Englishman a bit of London. Oh. And the other one? Oh, he's got a smile, hasn't he? What's his wonderful name? His name is Prentice. I think it's Arlie Prentice, the songwriter. Here. You a songwriter? Yes. Ever sold anything? Yes. Who are you? Libby. From Liberty. From the Statue of Liberty in New York Harbor. What you do? I'm a dancer, I am. And artist type. Like to hear me? There's a one-eyed yellow monster to the north of Kathmandu. There's a little something cross below the town. There's a broken hearted woman tends the grave of Mad Carew. And a little god forever gazing down. He returned before the dawn with his shirt and trousers torn. And a gash across his temples dripping red. <laughs> he was patched up right away, yet he slept all through the day. While the colonel's daughter watched beside his bed. Oh. As she crossed the village square, she could hear the dreamy air of a water. Wait, oh, wait. you and me's gonna have a talk. Here, no scrapping here. What's she done to you? What she done or what she not done is my affair, see? Here. Oh, you look here. Look here. Now, look here. What? Well, look here to me. I don't stand for interference, not from nobody, I don't. See? Now, look here. What's the trouble here? Just argument. I'll keep it quiet, you see? Sorry, sir. And don't call me sir. Sorry, mate. Doggy, you look after your customers. Right, sir. <laughs> now, look here, now, young minute. woman. We've all looked everywhere. Let's just uh, relax and have a cigarette. You smoke? Very kind of you, sir. Have a cup of coffee, please, doggy. Yeah, have it with me. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Cigarette? Don't mind if I do. Give us a light. Yeah, that's rather. Come on, Harley, let's scram. Now, no passion, please. Just wait till I paid the bill. Take it all from this, will you? Yes. Including the doorsteps and the coffee. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you, sir. Now, where are you going to take me to now? I suggest a stroll up Bond Street. Did I suggest a taxi? Well, I, uh, I've got to go now. Good night, all. Wait. Allow me to take the, uh, the liberty. <laughs> oh, th th thank you, sir. Good night, all. Did anyone happen to see what I saw? See what? Good night, all.
sorry to interrupt her rehearsal, but I'll have that cigarette case, please. I'd be obliged if you'd explain what you're talking about. Dramatic, aren't you? It's a good pose. Yes, you've got the right idea, but you keep that for an audience. See, come on, hand it over. Oh, go to... Look out, you're hurting. You don't say. Well, thank God he's got his name in it. Half to the reward. I see. You've got a nasty, cheap little mind, haven't you? Well, so long. And when the cops get on to all this, don't call on me as a witness to character. Just a minute. Look here, mister, who does this lovely world belong to, eh? To the people who live on it, you say, well, I'm one of them. And I've got just the same taste as all the rest. You'd be surprised. I get hungry. I get thirsty. I get cold. I enjoy smoke in a permanent wave and, and whatever I can get in the way of extras. And why shouldn't I have them? Because you haven't earned them. Anyone ever give me the chance? An orphanage brought me up and got me a job washing dishes. But I cleared out of that in double time, and why? Because it ruins the hands, see? And I have as much right to a manicure as the next. Don't talk foolish. Why not? Why not? Oh, gosh, why not? Can't you answer? There ain't no answer. You're after justice and logic. There ain't no justice and there ain't no logic. The world ain't made that way. Everything's luck, see? and good temper. And if you can take a joke, the whole of life's a joke. A joke? Then it's a joke I can't take, see? I can't take it! I can't take it! I can't take it! Now, 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 now. Hysterics don't help. Don't you touch me! That's the second time you've lent into me, and I don't like it, see? So stop it, Jeremy, stop it! I've had the law on you, I will! I'll tell you what you've done to Stop it, Jeremy! Stop it! Oops. Come on, Oops, the berry. This door. This door. Smash it! What? And every trade and a female voice. Are oh, you and your voices? Go to sleep and wake the children. Well, through pleasures and palaces. Well, swear all around. We're all right now. The eternal soul so unborn. Well, there is no place like it, is there? Slug in here. I tell. Maybe you can tell me what I do now. You're so clever. You take the high road, and I'll take the low road. I asked you what I was to do. And I answered, sleep on it. Turn out the guess when you're done. If not before. I'll consider your problem in the morning. Pleasant dreams, sweet repose. And don't snore, see? I don't snore, see? Well, don't then.
we'll say. Hello. Good morning. Do you want to come in? Hey, all you whiffed last night, pussy. Come on in. in. Hey, don't make a noise. Ah, oh, look at her. Ah, oh, come out of that, you young devil, and go and sit down. And I'll beg you to stop Julian from middling into my wireless. Julian, leave that wireless alone and sit down there for your breakfast. Can we begin? To be sure you can. Manners, you wait, my lord, until your father's finished shaving. Ah, let the children have their breakfast, sure they're starving. Morning. Sleep all right? Don't know yet. We'll find out, will you? And you want to wash and brush up? We've had one, haven't we, pussy? You come on downstairs. Go and get the morning milk. Get up. You sit quiet till your brother's done. I am done. You be quiet and wipe your nose. For me, I don't. The kettle's boiling over. Oh, oh turn it out. Turn it out yourself, lazy bones. Before. I see a lot of things in the Navy you haven't seen before. Navy cut? It's me. What we need now is a table clear. Howdy, Julian. What do you want, Julian? Marcy's, have you turned her skirt up yet? Come back now for now, Sally, see? Can I see your little boy? Oh, no, he's asleep. <laughs> Hey, what's the matter? Oh! What are you doing? Come here. Mm. Come here. Sit with us. Right in the capsule. I want to see your little boy. Off it, Sonny. What did he mean? Your little boy. Oh, he means Robert. Lives over there. I used to be a ventriloquist. Before I took up the classics. Good morning, grandfather. I'm not your grandfather. Lawyer! Charlie's young lady's cut her hand. What young lady? The young lady what he's having breakfast with. Oh, so he's got a woman in his room, has he? Do you mean to say you ever managed to fool an audience with ventriloquy? Oh, they aren't all as smart as you. You're right. Never let anyone fool me yet. Never mind those things. Come on. I'll leave the skirt with Ma on our way. On our way where? Police station. Oh. What's that? Oh, you couldn't be such a rotten sneak. No, I've letting me sleep here and, and giving me breakfast and, and me believing in you. You couldn't. Here, what I do? Now, yeah, what's all the excitement? What? What do you mean? What do you mean? Aren't you... Aren't you going to turn me in? Can't fool you, can I? Oh, no, you silly little thing. Only going to end it in at the station, like as if we'd found it. Oh. Check you in proper, eh? 
Mm -hmm. What did you do it for? No offense, mind you. I thought you needed a lesson. You can't have you constantly pinching cigarette cases, you know. Come on. How long has this woman been here, may I ask? Here? Who are you calling woman? I'll not have it, nor my wife won't have it. And I'll thank you to hand over her skirt. He landed over when he's been paid for his work, see? None of it has nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with me? Poking his long nose into our affairs? Look here, young woman. Look here, I... old man. Can't have a brawl in front of a lady. A lady. That's what he said, lady. I'll have you eject. Oh, you will. Yes. Yeah, ah, oh, oh. 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 finger on me. <laughs> Sorry. Let me out. Oh. Oh, 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 I drop it till you're blue in the face. She sings like a robin, she dances a tree. Not over my head, she won't. Ma. Oh. Dear old Ma. Well, maybe, maybe I could put a room with one of the children until I have a room free. You do that for me, Ma, and I'll give Julie an elocution. about education is it comes expensive here what's that where's my belly now look here going to get my belly now you don't want the belly go away Silly little coot, aren't you? I never did. Come on now, stop it. You're grown up, you are. Got to behave, you know. <laughs> stop arguing me. What's the matter now? I'm sorry I broke your thing. I'm sorry I stole your things, but... I'm sorry I made a mock of you. I'm sorry, you silly fool. I'm sorry. All right, then you're sorry. <laughs> now, now stop it, see? Hey, you cry yourself all puffy. Got a mirror? Got a frying pan? Come here. I don't use that one. I keep it for shaving purposes. You see yourself? That's more like it. Oh, like what? More like my leading lady. Oh, leading lady. What do you mean? What do I say? I've seen you dance. I've had you give an imitation of me. I don't mind saying, I consider you promising. We have the experience, you have the temperament. All we want now is the new turn. C H A R L E S. There. I wonder if I did that right. How many peas in Happy? Ah, uh, who cares? Many. Happy returns to Charles. And many of them. No room. Got to put his age. Ah, you young dibble. Come out of that. What were you doing in there? Take that cake and be off with you. Fine, nice lot of children I've got. Holy Saint Patrick, the state you're in. Come out, eh? Yeah, come out. Come out. 
I don't hold with clean pinafores. Oh, he'll be in before the cake. Hey. Hey, take it easy, Charles. Hey, hey, here I say. What are you up to? Don't come in till I call, you see. What are you up to in there? <coughs> Boy, when can I come in? Boy, I'm getting cold out here. Open the door! You can come in now. I should hope so. Many have you returned. Oh, no. I'm not 40, I'm 39. How did you know it was my birthday? I was looking through your papers, found your birth certificate. Oh. Much obliged, I'm sure. Oh. Very nice. Thank you. Put it on. All right. Here, give it to me. Hold still. Makes me look a bit yellow. You've been looking yellow lately. You haven't had a Saturday off since I've been working with you. Time you had a holiday. So long as you come. I hate and detest the country. I could make you like it. Ever heard the nightingale? Pretty. You must have a Sunday off soon. Oh, I should like to see your face first time you hear one. Any admittance? Hello. It's my birthday. Oh, oh you return, Charlie. Charlie. Thank I'm you very sure much, Arthur. I never knew anyone else would have given anyone else the lowdown. If you'd only let Charles get to his own cake. Come on, everybody, sit down. Yeah, That's right. Charles. What a cake, eh? What a cake, what a cake, what a cake for Jubilee it Terrace. Is uh, lovely. I must say. Uh, 40? You? Oh, you're getting middle age. You really are. I ain't 40. I'm 39. <laughs> Not <laughs> out. Oh, 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 you can all sit there looking as stuffed as you like, but it'll be a sensation. I feel it in my bones. Quite, old boy, but my individuality may be swamped in an ensemble. Nowadays, the individual's washed up. Cooperation, that's the stuff, so I says to myself. There's young gentry on his own and poor old Arthur on his own. I've got Biddy. Maybe you have got Biddy, but you and Biddy, you're a duet, you ain't a troop. Boy, what I'm feeling after's a troop. Tell them my idea. You tell them. Well, we form a quartet and we do a big production number. Oh. We thought we'd call ourselves the cooperators. Julian. What about music? Diner. Bicycle made for two. Tipperary. No, no. We... Those are classics. Can't we have something modern, something with a, with a swing to it? Oh, tell him your idea. Oh, well, I have thought of a little composition of my own. Oh, you want... That's right. I think we got something there. Here 
What's all this? Is this a respectable front entrance or is it the BBC? They're making a new turn. Well, I won't have it. Here, pass along there, please. Pass along. Doesn't Mr. Saggers live here, Mr. Charles Saggers? He does indeed. Not long he won't if he don't shut his windows. Two, three, four, ba -da. One, two, three, four, ba -da. Charles, you ought to be over on this side now. Arthur, give me the guitar and show Charles how to do the step. Gentry, come on. Talk, we'll talk, play. Uh, come on, Charlie, don't lose, Arch. You'll soon get it. It's only a neck. Ready? One, two, two three, four. Oh. Charlie, you're not doing it right. I know I'm not, but I can't do that to Charles going that way. Just a minute. Charlie, come here. I want you. There's a gentleman to see you. Carry on. Oh. Oh, uh, why, uh, Mr. Prentice, ain't it? Yes. Who, uh, lost the cigarette case. Oh, well, I'll be bidding you good day. Thank you so much. I'm awfully sorry to break in like this, but I only got back yesterday and I, uh, Found you returned my cigarette case. Just wanted to thank you. Did you wonder at not hearing from him before? Oh, no, no, sir. People don't trouble, gloves and such. I uh, had to leave this address for my uh, bona fides. Oh, yes. Well, now. I'd rather not, sir. I mean, uh, the circumstances. The girl? The girl, sir, don't quite take your meaning. Your cigarette case was found under the counter, sir, after you left. No reason to refuse a reward, is there? Very good of you, sir. I'd rather not, sir. Oh, right. I'm sorry, too, sir. In fact, uh, I'm only sorry the old thing happened. Come on, Charles. I got new steps. Oh, did you, Eddie? It's all right, Miss Liberty. Uh, oh, pleased to meet you again. I came to thank Mr. Saggers for returning my cigarette case. Oh, had you uh, dropped it? Won't you come in rehearsing? Mustn't uh, waste Mr. Prentice's time, Libby. It's a pity you didn't bring your journalist friend along. No, no, Libby, Libby. Well, he might have given us a write-up. So might I. What? You don't mean to say you could use an interview. Charles, he wants an interview. Now, who's to give it to you? Or me? Come on in. Ever since my early childhood, I had an intense desire to express myself. I was still hesitating in which direction to develop my career, but I had the good fortune to meet Mr. Charles Saggers, one of the leading street artists of the day. We joined forces with Mr. Arthur Smith. <laughs> Mr. What's your real name, Gentry? I'd rather not say. Well, anyway, we never looked back. We're hoping to put on a new show at the Hobon Empire next Monday. Monday. I'll be there. Libby, the gentleman don't understand. We're outside, not inside. He knows, but you didn't put that down. Libby, you didn't ought to sit on the arm of that chair. You know it ain't safe. Go on. Miss Liberty. Liberty what? Just Liberty. That garbo, see? Looks better on a billboard. First I've heard of all this. Liberty, as she prefers to be called, will not always be content with the life of the streets. Is that the line? That's the line. My ambition is to dance in every capital in Europe, starting with the Hobart Empire. Here, driver, will you? I'll bring them over when they're finished.
black and gray. You can hear them saying, I said, I love you. Funny. Good girl can dance anyway. Hello, Mr. Saggers. Oh, how do you do, sir? How do you do? Uh, Libby, Libby, Mr. Branch is here. Uh, would you excuse me, sir? Thank you. Hello, Libby. How do you do? Loved your show. Oh, so uh, glad. People want to meet you. Thank you. Here, here, George. Do you want to meet us? Oh, Come on, here you are. Miss Liberty, Mr. Saggers, Lady Selina. How do you do, Miss Fordingbridge? How do you do, do, you do? do, you do Miss Madam, uh, Miss uh, Sir Honoured Arshaw? Would you excuse me? I uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, lady. Thank you. Thank you, sir. That's a long. Uh, you've been here long enough. All right, I was just finishing with the constable. You want me to run you in? Look here. That's all right, sir. We know them. Now, how about you? No, it's entirely my fault, Constable. Oh, we can't allow instruction, sir. Do they always push him around like that? But after all, Bellow's right. Asking's only an excuse for begging. Cut it out, boys. They don't give you a chance. Make it slippy. Go to it, boys, but look out. He's an awkward sound, says the night. We'll take a chance. Run along. I'm awfully sorry about that. You go on inside. You got the money and you got the rights. Oh, Libby. You heard him move aside? Look here, I'm giving you a party tonight. I want you to come and dance for us. What? If you don't find friends to mock thank you for nothing. Don't miss it, just snob. I'm asking you to give a professional entertainment. Professional? Oh! Come on, old lady! Coming! We'll be there. Bye! What you think of that? Never mind, already. We made a fine. All close on 12 bob. Come on. We're all right. Happy days, happy days. But taking it by and large, I wouldn't ask for better support from a better company. As for Libby, we all know the new turn was her idea. I remodeled it, of course. Now the last word has to lie with the producer, my girl. Well, here's to basking, past, present and future. Gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, gentlemen. Shall I tell you something? You may. In ten years from today, there won't be a busker on the street. What do you mean? Just because you took 12 bob, you think everything's lovely. Well, it's not, see? What do you suppose it means, this everlasting moving you on and then bylaws and charged with obstruction if you so much as sneeze? I tell you, they're trying to get us off the streets altogether. Yeah, I'd like to see them. You will have your wish. Nobody wants us, really. They laugh at us. You out your noise. She's right. What are you talking about? My family sold flowers in the old streets of London to the old Queen's coronation. But the hansoms have gone, and the horses have gone. And soon, now, we'll have to go. Well, tonight's cured me. You heard old Maud and you heard that cat in Mink. 
An excuse for begging, she said, and she was right. I'm off. Coming? I'm the manager. You're a member of my troop. Sit down. Good night, all. Insubordination. I see. Yes, madam? Mr. Prent has asked me. What name, madam? Uh, Liberty. Oh, yes, he's expecting you. Will you come in, please? No, right inside, please. May I take your things? And your uh, hat? Um. Thank you. This way, please. Miss Liberty. Oh, here you are at last. I'm so glad. Didn't you bring Mr. Saggers? No. No. He stopped behind to make a speech. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, come and meet everybody. Nonsense. Wait until they're finished. Come and have a drink. Hello, Mark. Hello, Charlie. Please, hadn't you? How did the new turn go? Didn't Libby tell you? No. I'm going to bed. Good night. She ain't home yet. No. Well, uh, of course, it's early yet. She'll be in later. You and Libby didn't have words, did you, Charlie? No, no, no. She told me she might not be in yet a while. She couldn't say. Oh, it is good. What is it? Don't tell us you never tasted champagne before. Oh, I do tell you I never tasted champagne before. Try some of my cooking, Mr. Liberty. Much obliged. True. Sausages in me. I don't get it. I don't get any of you. You will. Go to bed, my dear. After all, it's my job to wait up for her. And why is it your job, Charlie? Why? Well, I mean, she has to have some man to look after her, hasn't she? Of course she has. Some young fellow of her own age who'll take her about to dances and parties and things. Why shouldn't I sit up for her? Oh, you know well enough, Ma, I'm fair wrapped up in the kid. That's why a man of 40 ought to have more sense. I ain't 40. I'm 39. Anybody looking after you, Miss Liberty? He is. He is. Oh. Uh, I want it. I'm sure you do. You're going to be removed from temptation, Liberty. Oh, but the party's hardly begun. There are plenty of parties later on. You come and see me and I'll fix you up. Why should I come and see you? I get the big theatrical agent. Oh, I come tomorrow. What time? Ah. 
here. Fred, I can't ask you in. Oh. Good night and congratulations. For what? Success story. Chapter one. For what? Hello, old Charles. Where have you been? <laughs> Dancing. Quiet. They hear you. Bay, bay. You don't get out of it like that, you don't. What do you mean by stopping up till all hours, keeping Ma up and me up? Who asked you to sit up? I never asked you to sit up. A light woman. That's what you're turning into. But I won't have it, see? Not if I have to lock you in. Oh, shut up. What's up? What's up? We got to have a talk. I'll talk to you in the morning. It is morning. Look here, I'll see. You're drunk. I ain't drunk. And I'll clear out when I know you've been. I've only been with Mr. Prentice. I'm sorry you sat up. Really, I am. But he asked me to his party, and I thought, well, I... Yes, you try another. What do you mean? Party me, I. Party a two. You say that to me again, I'll smack your face. Libby, are you telling me the truth? Why, old Charles, of course. I'm sorry. But you didn't ought to have gone off like that, Libby. All that stuff you talked, to, and then walking out on me. I mean, it's more than flesh and blood can stand. But I've been out late before. Well, it's the last time. We've got to have a totally new arrangement. You in this room, and me up there. Well, that ain't sense. You know, I lay awake at night. It all goes round in my mind. The new turn and you, and you and the new turn. Charles, there ain't going to be any more new turns. I'm going on the stage. The agent of Mr. Prentice is fixing it all up. I told you I'd get there, I told you. What happens to me and Arthur and Gentry? You hadn't thought of that, had you? Well, why should you? Look here, Charles. You always said I could act. Now, don't stand in my way now I see the chance of a real job. After all, busting's only fooling. Are you telling me I spend my life making a fool of myself? Well, well, in a way. You see, old lad, if we was any good, we'd be in the theatres, not outside them cadging for coppers. It's better than pinching them. You throw that up at me. How long have I been working with you? Ever know me cheat you once since? How can I be sure? Get out. Get out. I won't get out. Get out. I have a right to the earth. Get out. Listen, you. I'm telling you to stand up and listen. I can't do anything to listen, can I? I'll tell you what I didn't mean it. I won't have you going away. You stay here. Stop it, you little fool. I wasn't there 
hurting you. This I will you. I want to marry you. Will you get that? That's it. Marry you, see. Have you gone out of your mind? I mean, I mean, you'd better look in the frying pan, hadn't you? Ma! 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 He come barging into my room, the things he said. I think he must be loony. Charles, you ought to come along with us. That's it, Charlie. Come and have a good rest. Now we have got it clear. First I'm drunk, then I'm loony, then I'm told to lay down an ash, because it seems I'm only a beggar. So it don't really count what I say I'll do. Partnership's off, Ginger. That goes for you too, Arthur. Off, smashed, finished, washed up. We can all starve, and who cares? Our leading lady's got a new job. So I'll get a new job outside Baskin. You think I can't do a man's day? I'll show you. I'm a man, I am. But some of you think it funny. I have to say so. I think it funny myself. I'm fed up with the humor of it. Dear old Charles. Good old Charles. Yes, he's good enough to fetch and carry. Good enough to feed the cat when the rest of you can't spare the time. But when it comes to give and take, work and play, men and women, there is good morning to your Charles. Keep on your own side of the street, the gutter side. All right. But it's I who's saying good morning. See? Good morning! Good morning to you all! Frightfully, awfully bad. Oh, I can't get it. It doesn't work. Still a great title. Oh, shut up. If you've got any constructive criticism to give, give it. If not, clear out. That's right, darling. You tell them where they get off. You all sit around and you fuss him and you worry him. How do you expect him to work, no, darling? No. Let's hear what you've got. And hurry, because Duquesne will be here in a minute. I'm not ready for Duquesne. Oh, now let me hear it then. All right, darling. <laughs> but I can't dance to that. You want something like... Who is he? Oh, excuse me, Dan Constantine. But he's good. I ought to know. I used to dance with the man who played the mouth organ. Remember that, you I used to dance with him. Let it go. Oh, you mean... Da, 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 da. Thank you. 
We get married and then... I'm not going to marry you, Libby. Oh. Aren't you? Can you give me one reason why I should? Because you're in love with me. I'm in love with you, but... But what? I don't propose to be the next Charles. Charles? What on earth put him into your head? Oh, poor old Charles. I don't know what you mean by barging, if I may say so, into a fellow's bedroom. Where is Charles? I don't know how you have the nerve to ask me. What do you mean, nerve? Don't you know what nerve is? Then I'll tell you. Nerve's what you've done to Charles. First, you pinch his pitch. Then when he turns soft and lets you come along with us, like as if you was a stray cat, and cat's the word for you, then what? Then you pinch his ideas. Then you get between him and his friends, then off you go without a word except a couple of picture postcards to Ma from Scarborough. Look here. I don't need to. I took your measure, miss, the first time I seen you. Anything more to say? Well, sir, not to trouble you with my life history. I was born in a circus, but I preferred the classics. I'm a professional reciter, see? Would you like to hear me? What will you have? Hamlet, green eye, if... If you can keep your red when all about you are losing theirs, and blaming it on you! That's enough. Well, that's my bona fides, Your Worship. Is anything known about him? Well, sir. Well, sir, there is no denying it. Convictions have mounted up something awful. Twenty-four, all told. Only nineteen, Your Worship. Only nineteen? Oh, I see. You're not reckoning to be admonished, sir. <laughs> right. Have you any explanation to give as to why you were hanging about the theatre, Brunt? Well, so why not? I mean, there she was inside, and there I was outside. Of course, I knew she had it in her from the start for all her swing. So I came back at the end just to watch her. Watching her, I realized for the first time I'd lost my joy de vivre. So I hit her. I'm sorry I hit her. It done me good at the time. Mm. You'll have to go to prison for four months. Four months? I'm giving you four months, partly, to let you have a chance of thinking things over. Try and do better when you come out. Do better? I will! I'll go in for a new job altogether! Can't you see where you're going? Oh, I say, I'm off the side. My fault, really. Thanks very much, sir. Thank you. Oh, oh. Thank you. More match, please. Steady, old man. This way. Thank you. Give you a minute, madam. By a match, lady. Oh, Stoth. Oh, I say, Libby. What a get out. What are you? Charles, how dare you? Your taxi, madam. Take care, my man, take care. Can't you see the poor fellow's blind? Blind my foot. In you get. Go, get it. You there have been my leg. I'm ashamed of that's what I am. I leave you, I'm irrespectful about you. What do I find a built her whining for charity? I didn't. It wasn't. What well, today was the first time. That's your story. You're a stuff. Come on, dear. 
I tell you I did it for a lark. I only came out last week. Out of what hospital? Clink. Prison. You? Oh, so you couldn't even fool the police, eh? You haven't got it right. I have got it right? Yeah, I'm straight but trying to do you credit, and what sort of credit do you do me? Here. Here. You look at yourself in a... frying pan. I ain't forgot. Tom, you did then. Now look at yourself in a proper glass. Here. You're a jailbird. You ain't shaved for a week. You've been old enough to public and you've been drinking. You didn't leave me much else to do, did you? You proved to me I was a washout. <gasps> oh, how can you tell such wicked lies? You did, Libby. Charles, dear. Oh, Charles, whatever you've got in your fat head, I never said it and I never thought it. You did, Libby. Oh, well, and if I did, it was because I lost my temper and I left that from you. Muriel, I was talking. Come on. Just going to pay you back in your own coin, you leave poor old Arthur and poor old Gentry stranded. Turn your back on the omen and the cat and, and respectability all to satisfy your wicked pride. And as for me, I might have dropped back into the gutter for all you cared. Oh, never thought what I'd be worried, did you? I tell you, when I see Richard play acting with your poor silly old face, Oh, there I go, spotting me make up, and I've got her ears in a few minutes. Oh, Joe, Joe, you paid me out. Now ease up. Come back to your own job and be Charles again. Libby, could I have a small drink? Oh, how long has this been going on? How long's what been going on? These small drinks are yours. Don't know. Well, it's got to stop, see? You can have this one, but no more. Charles! Charlie! Charlie, turn around and talk to me. Charlie. There's a couple of small parts going in the new show. If you can pay a blind man good enough to fool me for half a second. You own it, do you? Yeah, yeah. What about coming down to rehearsal and showing them all what you can do, eh? Eh? Oh. Eh? Oh. <laughs> uh, there ain't anything I could do. Not suitable. Oh, of course there is. Here, here, what about green eyes? I'm off, Green Eye. What about if, Charles? Dear old Charlie, what about if? Uh, well, uh, I haven't done it for a long time. Why, Phoebe, I know it. If you can keep your head, when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. If... Easy, easy. That ain't the way to do it, my gal. You, you've got to get him in the mood from the first word see. You want to tack. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. If you can trust yourself when all men doubt you. I have a part, see I walk out. That's all right, darling, we'll fix it. If this. you can wait, but not be tired by waiting or being lied about. Don't deal in lies or being hated. Don't give way to hating. And yet, don't look too good, nor talk too wise. <laughs> Order, please. If you can dream and not make dreams, your master. If you can think and not make thoughts, your aim. If you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two impostors just the same. If you it's can bear bad, to hear the truth you've blood. spoken. Twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools. Oh, watch the things you gave your life to. Broken. Um, oh, and stoop. Build them up with worn out tools. If. If you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it at one turn of pitch and toss. Tommy, bring me a cup of coffee. It's going to be quiet. I won't have them interrupting. Quiet back there. Well, they know about anything anyway. Go on, Charles. Go on. And lose. And lose. And start again. What? And start again. And start again, Charlie. Start again.
your beginnings. And never grieve a word about your loss. If you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve their turn, long after they are gone, and so hold on. And there's nothing in you except the will which says to them, hold on. John. What well, isn't any good, darling. You can't make an actor out of me. Oh, I've been outside too long. Wow, well, I'm a basker, see? It's all right. Don't worry about me. I'm all right. John! John! Excuse me. Aren't you? You always was. Now stop hugging me. Well, now you've got to behave, you know. Occasions by Sir John Martin Narvis, Mr. John Gilgood, and myself. Thank you. 